Welcome to another episode of Questions Are Answers. And today we're going to be talking about what do we do when we feel negative emotions, but we're not sure why. And I really like this question because it opens up a whole new dimension of answers that I really haven't considered, but it comes back to the same root, which makes everything so simple. And that's the whole purpose of this channel is to make things very, very simple so that it's easy to understand and even easier to implement. So many times there are a lot of different teachings, philosophies, books, theories, disciplines that can complicate a lot of things when it doesn't necessarily need to be. And it's not like those things are wrong. And it's not like this is right. There's really no right or wrong in this world, but just what your experience is and what can help you. So whenever I mention any other modalities or that this way might not work as well, it's nothing is either right or wrong. So I really want to emphasize that point. And because nothing is right or wrong in this world, that takes a lot of pressure off of us to always make the right decision, which causes us a lot of anxiety again. So back to the point of what do we do when we feel negative emotions and don't really know why? And a person asked me, what happens when that happens? And is it because we're not thinking? And is it possible to feel negative emotions if we're not thinking? And what I would say to that is, is asking you this question. What emotion do you actually feel when you're not thinking? When there's no chatter going on in the mind. It's just peace, love, and joy. It's calm, serenity. If you're not thinking about anything, you're not worrying about anything. It's impossible to worry about something without thinking about it. And it's because thinking lives in the past or the future. It's regretting, resentful, guilty, shameful about the past, or it's anxious about the future or fearful about what might happen. But without the presence of thinking, that can't exist. And what happens is we automatically fall back into the only time that does exist, the present moment. And in the present moment is when there is the absence of thinking. And the absence of thinking or non-thinking does not mean the absence of thought. I chose non-thinking very specifically, and it's because we're not thinking, but we do have thoughts if we're not thinking. And what happens when we're not thinking about our thoughts is that the thoughts can just flow right through us. And it, and it doesn't get filtered or just messed up by all of our thinking. Because when we think about our thoughts, that causes it to, it essentially causes us to suffer. It's because we cast our conditions, our own uh, judgments about it. We cast our own biases, beliefs about it. And that is what makes us suffer. But if we allow our thoughts to come and go, that is the presence of peace. Because we're not attached to anything. We're not holding on to a thought because we're so worried about something. And so once we're able to do that, that's when all of the joy can come into our lives because it flows. An analogy I love to make with this is by saying, what would happen if you ate something and you didn't allow it to exit your body <laughs> through bowel movements for two weeks, four weeks, a couple months? What happens if you if that food stayed in your system for that long? That would cause an immense amount of suffering. And our thoughts are exactly the same way as food. It's meant to come in and go out. But if we're consciously holding on to our food and not wanting to let it go, it's going to be extremely painful until we learn how to let it go. And it's the same thing with our own thoughts. If we're consciously thinking about our thoughts and trying to hold on to it, and that perpetuates the, the existence of it in our minds, and we don't let it pass, it essentially causes us psychological and emotional suffering. And that's why it happens. And again, thoughts aren't good or bad. Food isn't good or bad. If it passes through our system, we're fine. And if thoughts pass through our system, we're fine. And that's the point, is once we allow it to flow, everything is at peace. Everything is in a, in a state of just purity because it's, it's constantly cleansing out itself. But if we don't let it pass, that's when we suffer. Now, when it comes to why we don't know or how we feel negative emotions when we don't know uh, what's going on, what I would say to that is that if we don't know why we feel negative emotions, it's usually because we don't understand that thinking is the root cause of all suffering. And for example, 
when we feel anger or, or sadness or frustration, no one just wakes up frustrated for no reason. There's always something that we're holding on to, some sort of thinking going on that creates that frustration, that negative emotion. So if you think that there is nothing going on in the mind, it's probably not true. And there's something there bothering you. Otherwise, you wouldn't feel that way. And so begin to realize that you are thinking and you might not even realize that you are thinking because you're so used to thinking all the time. So it might, it might seem like you're not doing it at all, but that's just happening subconsciously. and It's just running. So until you become aware that you are thinking, then you can start to let go of it. And that's really all you need. And to remember that thinking is the root cause of all suffering. And that if you don't want to suffer anymore, you can let go of it. And then you can just experience peace in your life and how to actually let go of it. Uh, that's really the process. It's as simple as that. There's a few things you want to remember, such as that. And just remembering that it's okay to feel fear, that it's okay to, to go into the unknown because that's where the present moment is. You don't really know what's going to happen next. So the more okay you are with that, the more you can let go and to trust and surrender and allow yourself to feel all of the natural emotions that you currently have, which is peace, love, and joy. So really find out what's going on in the mind. Don't worry about the content so much. And I mean, you could dig into why you feel frustrated, why you feel uh, anxiety and why it, it can help to a certain extent, but then it stops helping because then we just keep attaching external reasons as to why we feel that way. It's because my mom said this, because my parents said this, because my friends said this, it's because uh, my job did this or my boss did this. There's an infinite number of external reasons as to why you could feel this way. And honestly, it's really not that helpful to start blaming all of those things. But what is helpful is to become aware that fear, anxiety, depression, uh, just frustration, angst, guilt, shame, all of these negative emotions stem from one single source. They're different forms of the same thing, which is thinking. And if you come to realize that, then how to deal with it becomes very, very simple. Instead of needing to deal with anxiety differently than needing to deal with frustration, than dealing with anger, than dealing with shame and guilt. It's a never ending cycle if you try to deal with it in different ways. But if you understand that the root of it is all the same, it's all created from the same source, thinking, then all you have to do is remember that thinking is the root cause of all suffering and to allow yourself to let go of it and to trust that you'll be okay when you do it. That's all I have for this episode. I hope this helped you guys. If it did, leave a comment down below and share your own insights, your own realizations of, of what you feel here. Again, what I'm saying is not new here. It's something that you already know deep within your soul. And so that's the reason why it resonates with you, because you already have this piece of you within you. And that's really what, what I really want to emphasize. And again, you don't have to believe this in order for it to work for you. Try it out for yourself. And through your own experience, you will know your own truth. And that's what you want to continually pursue. I love you all very much.